Hello everyone, I'm Kayla and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna have a little talk about fashion trends. I feel like fashion trends are such an interesting thing because they are always evolving. Like I wore completely different clothes in 2016 than I do now and I'm gonna continue to wear completely different clothes in 2021 and later on. So today I'm gonna be rating current fashion trends and kind of predicting what I think they're gonna be like in this upcoming 2021 year. I have 18 different trends that I'm gonna be discussing today and I'm so excited. So let's just, let's just start. I came prepared with a notebook here and I have a couple different trends and kind of my thoughts on them. So starting off strong with brown clothes. Brown has basically blown up in fall of 2020 and I think it's going to carry on into 2021. I feel like TikTok just really took the brown trend and ran with it. And I've been seeing brown everywhere. Personally, I love it. I give it a full 10 out of 10. It's probably one of my favorite trends right now. I think it's so cute. I've seen a lot of people saying that brown's kind of getting overdone and just too many people are wearing the color, but honestly, I think it's cute and I hope it stays. Moving along with the whole color theme, next I have green clothes. Specifically from like sage green to like a pastel green and kind of like a darker olive. Basically just all green tones, what am I saying? I personally love green, it's my favorite color. Um, I have this sweater vest on now, but I'm wearing some like pastel green sweatpants right now and this is definitely my favorite color. I mean my nails are that color. I feel like it's especially going to be popular going into the spring and summer months and I'm very excited to see what companies do with this green color because I'm so excited to see it. Definitely a 10 out of 10 A+. Plus. Love to see it. Oh also it makes you look like really tan especially the like pastel sage color makes you look really tan. Personally, I like that. Now onto the next trend, which is mesh tops. I personally don't own any mesh tops cause I don't ever know what to wear under them. I know most people like style them with like a cute bralette or something like that. But personally, I just don't really know how to style them. So I don't own any, but I do see a lot of them circling around on Pinterest and TikTok. And I do love some of the patterns, but I don't think it's the most practical item of clothing. So for that, I'm going to give it like seven out of 10. I do still think that mesh tops are really cute. And if I do find a super cute one that I think is good quality, I would invest in it. But yeah, I mean, fashion trends are subjective. Fashion is just a subjective thing in general. So don't take anything that I say too seriously because it's all opinion based. With that being said, I'm going to move on to pattern sweaters and sweater vests. I've definitely been seeing these getting pretty popular lately, especially because it is the colder months. I mean, where I live, it's like 70 degrees outside, but I know most people live in a cold climate. So I definitely see why these pattern sweaters and kind of sweater vests have become a trend recently. I really love to see like the creative freedom a lot of designers are having with putting really cool designs and entire like picture scenes onto a sweater. I think that's so cool. And I obviously really love like the Argyle trend and houndstooth patterns and just basically all cool patterns in general on sweaters. I really like that. So for this pattern sweater trend, I'm definitely gonna give it like a nine out of 10. Next is fur trim. I don't own anything with fur trim, but this is a trend that I want to hop on so bad. I think it looks so elegant and I will definitely be looking for a cardigan or a sweater or some sort of coat with fur trim on it. Like whenever I see someone with like fur trim coat or something like that, I'm like, they look expensive, they look put together, goals. So for this, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Butterfly tops. I haven't actually seen these that mainstream, but I think coming up when we start to approach summer and the warmer months, 
these butterfly tops are gonna be everywhere. They were a very early 2000s trend and you know, trends are always recirculating. We saw the early 2000s come back in 2020 and I think even in 2021 more, they're gonna be probably everywhere. I really like them. They're very unique and cool and kind of like an artwork almost. So for these, I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. Moving on to zebra prints. Animal prints are always going in and out. I mean, 2020 was like big for like cheetah prints and things like that. And I think that's also gonna go into 2021. But I think zebra print is starting to make its approach back up again. And I'm here for it. I really like it. So gonna give zebra like a nine and a half out of 10. Next up is funky patterns. And I don't really know how to describe this pattern, but it's like kind of the lines all over the place, kind of like groovy. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm really vibing with it. My favorite like era decade of fashion is the 60s. And I think these funky little line patterns definitely align with that. So for that, I'm gonna give funky patterns like a nine. It's not the most classic piece, but it's a really cool piece. And starting off the bottoms with wide leg jeans. I really love this trend. It gives off very much like K-pop vibes. I've seen K-pop stars wearing wide leg jeans for a while now, and I think it's finally starting to hit like sort of mainstream fashion and I'm here for it. Definitely gonna give these a 10 out of 10. So comfortable, very flattering, and I really like it. Next we have leather pants. Also gonna give these ones a 10 out of 10 really like it they're super elegant and i feel like they are a classic piece of clothing so for that that's why i ultimately say 10 out of 10. they also just make any outfit look really cute so a plus for those dress pants is next and i'm talking about like more wide leg dress pants and i definitely want to incorporate this trend into my everyday wardrobe as well so i mean if you know any cool places to get some like wider leg dress pants let me know because I'm interested in hopping on this trend. Tights, and more specifically, colorful tights. I love wearing simple black tights under a skirt with like some Doc Martin boots. That's been my go-to outfit this entire like fall slash winter season. But I feel like I've been starting to see more colorful tights come back in. And I think that also incorporates more with that like mod 60s fashion that I do really love. I'm gonna give colorful tights like an eight out of 10. I think it depends on what you're wearing and what color of tights you're choosing. It also gives off kind of like Blair Waldorf vibes. She wore like colorful tights and she is a style icon. First for shoes, there's wedge sandals. I didn't really know how to like describe this trend. I don't know if they're like platform sandals, wedge sandals. I don't know the exact name for them, but I do really vibe with this trend. I think it's super cute and super cool. I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. I feel like for the spring and summertime, a super cute mini dress with the sandals will just look so cute on a little picnic. I always fantasize about having picnics, but then I realize that where I live, the summers are like 115 degrees, so picnics don't usually happen around here. Emma Chamberlain is like the fashion icon of today, especially for teenagers, and I feel like she really pushed this trend almost and that is high top colored converse. I always see Emma like rocking every single color of high top converse there is from like red to yellow to green. So I give it a 10 out of 10, but I actually have a tip for anyone that wants to hop on this trend and that is to buy some colorful laces and just put them on your black or white Converse. So I got a pack of red laces and pink laces from the Converse store. And on the price tag, it says that it retails for $3, but I remember the store had like a two for five deal. Instead of spending like $60 on a new pair of Converse, you can just buy some laces and dress up your old ones. Moving on to boots and more specifically like calf shin length boots. They're super adorable and I am loving this trend right now. 10 out of 10 for sure. They make outfits look so elevated and just very like high fashion feeling. All right, now for some bead bags. 
I haven't seen these too much going around lately, but I feel like coming up into 2021, this is definitely going to be a trend. They're super cool looking and I feel like a lot of craftsmanship goes into making them, but they don't seem like the most practical bag. I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. Next up is nail art. I'm talking about like minimalist looking nail art that has been seen all over Pinterest. Pinterest is definitely where I've seen most of these trends come to life and that's what I kind of use for research purposes. So when I saw a bunch of pictures of this nail art, I was like, I have to include that. I know it's gonna be a big trend and it already is a big trend. I always just paint my nails at home, but if I did wanna spend the extra money to treat myself, I would totally get one of these super cool nail art designs. And for that, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. And last but not least, colorful eyeliner. I suck at makeup, I'm terrible at it, but if I could do it, I would for sure try out colorful eyeliner. It's definitely a statement and I think it's a statement worth making, so for that, I will definitely give it 10 out of 10. I curated a lot of the trends that I already participate in and that I really like already, so I guess this was kind of a bias video, but whatever. Anyways, those are all the trends that I have written down in my notebook. There are for sure so many other trends that I can talk about and go over, so I can definitely make a part two. But this was so fun to talk about. Fashion trends are so interesting to me because they are always evolving, and that's why I love fashion because you can just take any sort of idea and run with it and make it a trend. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.